All right, shalom and good morning. Uh, out the boy is here. Well, uh, out early this morning, about to do some runnings with my little princess. And uh, we're in the process of uh, doing some trimming to the Brussels sprouts because they are coming in now. And I'm telling you, man, this is my first year as well growing Brussels sprouts. I've never eaten Brussels sprouts before. But, uh, you know, I was on, I was looking at the video from Atlanta Harvest, and uh, they said that it's delicious. So I said, why not grow some? But what I'm noticing, and I had to do some further investigation, is that, you know, I mean, these Brussels sprouts are in some nutrient-rich soil. And uh, what I've had to do is cut back the bottom uh, sections of the leaf and top off the Brussels sprouts so that the actual Brussels sprouts themselves grow. And uh, that uh, the uh, energy is not going towards leaf production, much like a, a, a cannabis plant. So um, uh, the idea is to cut it all back and uh, let these Brussels sprouts grow uh, and produce some actual fruit. And we were able to clean out the the uh, deep freezers. Um, I've been uh, on the land for the past uh, week or so and uh, just doing all of this work. But one of the things that the deep freezers had to be cleaned out. And uh, uh, we found that we have a lot more space. So, you know, because I can't find a deep freezer online. Um, so uh, that's looking very well. And we'll have a, a lot more production when it comes to sheep to uh, put some lambs in that freeze as well, but uh, as well, the kale, I mean, I'm telling you, man, as you see the lettuce, you know, they're kind of about to run their course. We have all of the herbs, the, uh, the little uh, raised herb bed garden, and, uh, you know, I got the, the roses going. I mean, they're just looking beautiful, man. Look at those roses. I mean, you know, it all has to do with nice, nutrient-rich soil. I mean, it's just beautiful. I'm just loving it. And uh, girls love it as well. But uh, we have uh, our cucumber plants growing now. We still got kale growing. I got my uh, onions that's about to pop up right now, and they're doing well. We still have some spinach production. Some 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 spinach plants did die back, but uh, more than they're still just uh, churning away. But um, and as well as the herbs. But look at this, this, this kale. The kale, uh, uh, we're eating it in salad as well as cooked. But this is the sixth harvest off of these kale plants. Six harvests. I mean, I am just so well pleased with this kale production. It is just not funny. And I mean, look at this kale. I mean, it is just delicious and it's huge as well. Um, so, uh, you know, we're doing an excellent job here with our kale. Then we have our pepper plants that's coming in, and I got a couple extra roses that's growing as well, and I got uh, some beets that's growing as well, um, as well as some uh, uh, tomato plants that's coming in very well. Um, I got some more peppers that I've planted in the broccoli bed. Now, uh, next year or this year in the fall, I'm going to plant twice the amount of broccoli because we did such a good job, and what I noticed is that... Um, uh, 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 we planted the broccoli in the greenhouse. You see the greenhouse right there. And the problem with that was that it got too hot too quick. Hot inside there. So that's not going to work. Um, you see here I uh, put in some, uh, some uh, these are some okra plants. Uh, and I'm only growing four of those because if you know anything about okra, I mean, I'm telling you, man, it grew taller than me uh, last growing season. And we got a ton of okra. And as a matter of fact, I had to throw away a whole bunch of produce that we produced from last year uh, to make room for this year's produce. Uh, so we're in an overproduction state. But this is another raised bed that I put up. That one is another one that I put up. Um, we got some lettuce um, uh, still going. Uh, this is still edible, but you see how this is just like starting to, to produce seed. We got plenty of lettuce uh, seeds. So I'm not worried about that. But uh, these are the blueberries and the strawberries. I mean, no, the blueberries and the raspberries. More lettuce and stuff. Uh, more kale, raspberries. We have uh, the strawberries uh, coming in. And uh, at the base.